Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys. Um, I will agree with Fred as far as the uh, Mayweather gym go. The people that go to the Mayweather gym, it's amazing that these dudes don't have a mind of their own. You know, and like I said before, at least Dewey said, hey, Tyson Fury's gloves wasn't on correctly. And all we doing is asking other fighters to step up. Like I said before, um, ain't nobody worried about y'all little meaningless threats saying, oh, stop crying and all that type of shit. Because like I said before, y'all the biggest crybabies on the face of the earth. Like I said, at the end of the day, you guys can't do nothing better than a black person without trying to emulate a black person or are uh, hiring or getting a black person to teach you things so why are you sitting up here talking all that shit you know it is what it is you know all them little words you say about quit crying and all that do you think that bother me you think that's gonna make me stop doing videos talked about this subject because obviously y'all punk asses keep watching them you know what I'm saying? Nobody cares what you think. Real talk. I'm going to continue to make my videos. Nobody care about the, the, the mayonnaise mafia. You guys, opinion means jack shit to me. It's meaningless. Nobody cares what you think. So go back to whatever hole you came from under. For real. Go back to your tunnels in the Caucasus Mountains. You know what I'm saying? Go back to plotting on the next church, movie theater, or school you going to shoot up. And hurt innocent people. And particularly. People that look like y'all. So get the fuck off my channel. Talking that bullshit. You know. Real talk. Um, Here's the thing. As far as. The people at the Mayweather gym go. Like I said before. Uh, I know Fred said he want to talk to some of them. I don't want to talk to none of them niggas. Because at the end of the day. This was concocted. Y'all was sitting up there caping for Tyson Fury, and that is just the bottom line. That's the bottom line. You trying to save Tyson Fury. Now, shout out to Dewey for basically debunking them dudes, because at the end of the day, none of them knew what the fuck they was doing. You know what I'm saying? They was basically buck dancing, and that's that's all people saw him for. And I just want to say, all you niggas at the Mayweather Gym, do y'all have a mind of y'all own? Is y'all that fearful of Floyd? Real talk. Nobody bought what you was 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 trying to sell because it was a horrible attempt. If you were trying to sell me a car at the car lot, a brand new Mercedes Benz, and wanted me to believe that the car was on point. And that I could trust you as a car salesman, you would have lost the sale. I would have walked right off the lot. Because you guys wasn't convincing at at all. And I could tell you 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 guys and also the woman was trying to wing it. So it is what it is. I mean, that was just some you know what I'm saying, that was just cooning at its highest form. Like I said, Fred want to talk to y'all. I don't want to talk to none of you motherfuckers. Because y'all don't have a mind of y'all on. Y'all let one nigga tell y'all or scare y'all. Hey man, don't talk about this. Because at the end of the day, the story not going away. And Floyd can make all the phone calls he want. Talk about, well, don't let him in the gym. Floyd, fuck your gym. And fuck you, Floyd. You one of the biggest hypocrites... That I ever seen in my, my life, man. You are a disgrace to the black community, man. You one sorry ass nigga. And, and it's a shame, dude. As brilliant as a fighter you was, you one of the worst persons I ever seen in my life. And like I said, Floyd, when you have your nigga moment, and it's going to happen pretty soon, don't come calling the black community to help your ass. Call, call for help from the very people that were sitting up here demeaning you as a man as a person hating you rooting against you let's see if your buddy donald trump gonna help your ass let's see if 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 the other donald donald sterling gonna be in defense of your ass because you did all this coon and floyd 
and you ain't going to reap the benefits of it because at the end of the day, people still hate your black ass. That's just the bottom line. You did something fucked up to a dude that was supposed to be your friend that you agreed to do, but that ain't my that that ain't my place. I have to let that person tell what you did to them. You know what I'm saying? And for years, Floyd, I've been protecting your ass from these races and these coons that sat up there and attacked you on all these media outlets just so they can get, get views. But then you continue to spit in our face. And then you would be inconsistent with what type of black media that you would do interviews with. So, Floyd, it's cool. The people at your gym are sorry. They listen to my videos. And I know they're going to send it. And it, it, it's a shame, dude. It's a shame that people ain't allowed to voice their opinion. Because I could tell that they wasn't being sincere. Why don't you let them people at the Mayweather gym off their leash? And let them be able to speak for themselves. And Floyd, you know about this situation yourself. So, it is what it is, man. Real talk. I don't want to stay. I'm not probably going to ever set foot in that gym again. And if I come in there, y'all can kick me out. That's fine. Because y'all y'all just full of shit. Pathetic. This your boy Town Biz. I'm out.